What are your earliest memories of some of the stores? Well, I can remember when I was uh, seven, I guess it was, when the big fire was on, 1929. Mm-hmm. My dad, uh, we couldn't go downtown. We wouldn't let us go down. But he went down to you know, see what, if he could do anything. And one of the storekeepers there, I think it was Frank Wiener, he said, you go to the basement before the store burns down and get anything you want. So it'll go to burn anyhow. <laughs> Oh, wow. So he brought home all these rubber boots. Rubber boots. <laughs> rubber boots. Well, just like ordinary coach train, and they had had these big uh, boxes or metal things that they have now, and they were all full of coal. Coal? Coal, yeah. You had to get your coal up from there. There was nobody else. See, Kaminko used to send it up for his, oh. his uh, workers, but they had to buy it, yeah. Oh, okay. Did you have coal? Oh, yes, we had coal. And how would they deliver it to your house? Oh, in a, tr- in a well, with not a, I don't know, with horses or whatever it was in those days. On a, on a wagon? On a wagon. And they come door to door, or did you have to go up there and get no, it? No, we, um, he had, they had to order it ahead of time. And then they, they know where to, they knew where to bring it. Okay, so yeah. they would dump it somewhere and you would come no, and get it? No, they shovel it into the shed. <laughs> oh, into your shed at home? Yeah. Oh, that's a good service. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what shape were, we, we called them briquettes. Brick, oh, no, ours were briquettes. Ours was regular coal. Big regular lumps, big lumps, big of, lumps coal. of coal. And you'd break them up, you know, and you could put them in the, on your stove at night and a big piece and it would burn all night sort of thing, eh? Oh. That's what we could keep warm. Okay, the only time that I can remember we were going on the train was one one year. I don't know if he did it more than once. The smelter, they put on a picnic and sent up the trains to Rossland, the coaches, and anybody that worked in the Kaminko, they had uh, they had a list of names and stuff and that. Took us to Nelson to the Lakeside Park. 